Hey there, it's um, so follow up on diffusion. We're going to talk about osmosis next. We can sort of think about diffusion as the movement of particles to create equilibrium. So we before we had a container, um, some particles would move across the container, kind of spread out in order to get equal concentration all the way across or as close to it as possible. Um, so it's the movement of particles. Diffusion is very general. They can be anything, salt, sugar, um, any molecule or particle, like cologne diffuses throughout the air. So, it's a fart. Um, so anything like that, pee in a pool, diffuse throughout. Okay. We're going to talk about osmosis. Osmosis is very similar to diffusion, but it's specific to water. So it is has the exact same idea where it's the movement of particles to create equilibrium, but we're specifically now talking about water particles. So in this case, we're going to have a, a membrane like we talked about, and something is going to be able to get through and something aren't. In this case, the water is going to be the one doing the moving, and we're going to see why this happens. Okay, so let's take a look at something like this. We'll start to use the shape. It's a weird little horseshoe container. Imagine the two openings at the top there. Um, so we can see that we have high concentration on one side. Right? We have high concentration and low concentration. Right? And we can think about if we were talking about diffusion, we could talk about the particles spreading out evenly in order to create a consistent concentration all the way across. Okay. Let's put some numbers to this. Let's say this is 10% concentrated on the right hand side and 5% on the left. Okay, so let's just concentrate it over here. Uh, remember the concentration is the ratio of solvent to solute, right? Like water is tea, milk and hot chocolate powder. What is what concentration are we talking about? Solute, solvent, those things can change up. So in this case, let's talk about um, salt and water. Okay, so we just have salt, salt and water. This is like you just dump them in the tops, you dump a lot of salt in this side, you dump a little bit of salt on this side, and then eventually you'd expect that all of the water would have the same saltiness or the same concentration of salt throughout after a time period, right? Maybe that takes 15 minutes, maybe that takes an hour. So with osmosis, however, we're going to have a membrane. This is going to be a selectively permeable membrane. This is um, either in a lot of organisms, right, our cells, plant cells and their roots, we're going to talk about how they use osmosis um, to, to water around. Okay, so this membrane does not let salt through, but does let water through. Okay, so imagine that we have this membrane in our in our little tube here, right? We still have these two openings. We put salt in this side, put a lot of salt on the right side, a little bit of salt on the left side. What's going to start to happen is that the salt's going to try to balance out, but on this side, the salt's only going to be able to diffuse throughout this half of this little chamber, and that this will diffuse on this side. Okay, so we're going to have unequal concentrations, but nature's always tried to get to equilibrium. So what's going to happen? Okay, the salt cannot pass through. Right? The salt wants to be going this way. The salt wants to go from high concentration to low, right? But that membrane is stopping it. So what's actually going to happen is that water is going to move. Okay, now why would the water move? Okay, let's think about this as a cup of iced tea. Right, a 
capacity on this side, it is very concentrated. Okay, it has a ton of iced tea in it. Not much water. You take a sip, it's so sweet. Okay, it's way too concentrated. So in order to bring down the concentration, right, we want to get from 10, we want to bring that down, and we want to bring this side up. So to bring this side down, we're just going to add H2O, right? For us, we would do that from the tap. But it's also just going to happen naturally, where the water is going to travel through the semi-permeable membrane, selectively permeable membrane, to come on the right-hand side and start to lower this concentration. And it's going to actually all the way down to 7.5%. And 7.5%, you might notice, is right in between 10 and 5. Okay, so the water is going to come across. And this side's actually going to gain water. Like you're going to be able to visibly see the change as the water rises up. Okay. And on this side, however much water you lose or however much water you gain on the right side, you lose on the left side. So you're actually going to be able to see that water level drop on the left hand side. Again, think about it, a cup of iced tea. It is not, not very concentrated. It's hard solute in there right very little very little iced tea powder so we have to remove the water okay for us you could evaporate it you could let it sit and it'll evaporate and the water will leave and it'll actually get more concentrated okay you could boil it and it would evaporate and get more concentrated right we did that so there's ways to make it more concentrated and that's removing water, and it's actually going to increase to 7.5%. So now we have 7.5% on the left side. We have 7.5% on the right side. Now we have our balance. Okay, and it has everything to do with the water moving across. Last video and the last exercises, we were talking about the, pop, the, the solute moving. Now we're talking about the solvent moving. Okay, so this is osmosis, is the movement of water, right? The movement of water to create equilibrium. So this water moves across. This concentration actually goes down at the same time when this water leaves, this concentration actually goes up. Okay, so we'll try a couple of activities. I'll let you guys play around with this. Um, if we can get, get through diffusion osmosis, if you can have something of that. It makes thinking about the cell so much easier. Plants, animals, everything. Okay, so this is this is kind of just a big a big knowledge block to take with you um, through grade nine, nine school for sure. Okay, so we'll we'll continue on with the slides.